Secretary Treasurer of American Federation of Labor and Congress of Industrial Organizations (AFL-CIO), Liz Schuler speaks at the Lincoln Memorial during the Get Your Knee Off Our Next March in support of racial justice in Washington, U.S., August 28, 2020. Olivier Dulery slash pull via Reuters slash file photo. Washington, August 20th, Reuters, the AFL-CIO, the largest U.S. labor organization, on Friday elected Liz Schuler, a longtime trade unionist, to serve as the Federation's first woman president, succeeding Richard Trumka, who died unexpectedly earlier this month. The AFL-CIO's executive council also elected Fred Redmond, a United Steel Workers USW, union official as secretary-treasurer, making him the first African-American to hold the organization's number two office. Trumka, who died of a heart attack at 72 during a camping trip, had led the Trade Federation of 56 unions representing 12.5 million workers since 2009. Read more. President Joe Biden called Schuler to offer his congratulations and vowed to partner with the coalition to create union jobs and increase wages, according to a White House official. Schuler, who grew up in a union household, said she was determined to continue Trumka's push to expand the power of organized labor, reduce the income gap between rich and poor while increasing union membership, which has slid for decades in the country. This is a moment for us to lead societal transformations, to leverage our power to bring women and people of color from the margins to the center, at work, in our unions and in our economy," she said in a statement. Schuler, 51, worked as an organizer at Local 125 of the Electrical Workers IBEW, union at Portland General Electric, working with a coalition of activists to challenge energy giant Enron Corp when it tried to muscle electricity deregulation through the Oregon legislature. In 2009, she was elected as Trumka's top deputy, the first woman elected to the position of secretary-treasurer, and the youngest woman ever on the Federation's executive council. The AFL-CIO's executive officer's terms run through June 2022, when delegates to a convention in Philadelphia will elect leaders for new four-year terms.